Now, I don't know if you've heard of Albert Einstein's assertion that God does not play dice with the universe. Well, whether or not that's true, we're going to be using the random outcome of a die roll to make the most important decisions in this routine. Now, first off, as you can see, I have all of the face cards. And so if you were here, I'd have you kind of mix those within their own group there so that we don't know where any of the particular suits are within each set. How would you like me to stack these? Middle one first, one on the left, one on the right. Okay, very good. Now we're going to be using three very powerful uh, shuffling procedures to thoroughly randomize the cards. How would you like these stacked? Right on left, your choice. Um, I think we should do a second one of those just to make sure these are well mixed. You want right on left again, your choice, okay? Now, from here, we can do something called a Charlier Shuffle, and I can add a link in the description below to this shuffle. It's a great way to scramble the cards. You tell me when to stop, and then I'll stop. Stop there? Okay. Very good. And then to be super careful here, why don't we have you randomly cut it so that I'm not controlling even what cards are near the top there. Okay, so if you were here, you could perform a random cutting of the cards and completing the cut. Okay, now the final mixing we're going to do is something called uh, the Klondike Shuffle. This is where we take the top and bottom off as one. And just like we did with the uh, left-right shuffle, we did it twice. Uh, we'll do this twice, but a little differently. What we're going to do is we're going to Klondike pairs to the table. And I'm having to be careful here because I know that I'll barely be able to fit these in camera view. Okay, did that work? <laughs> Just barely. Okay, well here comes our random event here, our die roll. Now I'm going to give you the choice, would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Because together what we're going to do is we're going to discard, throw away four of these pairs. And it's the remaining two pairs that are of interest to us. Okay, so would you like to go first or do you want me to go first? You want to go first? Okay. Well, since you're not here, I'll have to roll the die for you. So it looks like it's a two. So one, two. So this is one of the discard pile. Let's put it over here like that, I guess, to fit it. Um, now to arrive at an equally random number, why don't we go ahead and just flip the die to its diametrically opposite side. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. This would be the other discard pile. So we'll just let me move these down so we have some room there. Um, okay, my turn. Now I'll go ahead and uh, roll it. Now if I get the same number, uh, we'll just keep rolling until I don't, right? So one, two, three, four. Okay, this is a discard. And then what's on the opposite side? A three, one, two, three. Toss those away. Okay, we're done with the die roll here. So these are the two that we're interested in. Okay, these two cards right here. Sorry, these two pairs of cards right here. So four cards total. Okay, um, I'm trying not to go off camera view, but I have such messy discard piles. <laughs> okay, well, um, let's take a look at what all of this random mixing and random dis decisions made by uh, you and by me, actually. Well, I should say random decisions made by the universe, come to think of it, because we both rolled a die to get the number of the pair that we would discard, and then we just discard the kind of complement of that. Okay, well, let's just take a look at whether there is evidence that God plays dice with the universe. Okay, well, we got a jack. That's kind of nice. Oh, you got two jacks. I don't know how likely that is, but... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What, three? Oh, boy. Check that out. Now, you might be interested to know, because I'm just nerdy enough to calculate this, the probability of doing this among the face cards where you pull out four of them and have them all be of the same card value it's one over 165. So it's like having 165 little pieces of paper all rolled up. On one of those slips of paper, it says you win. All of the others are blank. And then you mix those in a big container. You go in with your hand, grab one out, 
among the 165 and you just happen to have pulled the one that says you win. That's the same probability of doing what we just did. Isn't that mind blowing? Okay. Okay, wow. Um, so if you just do what I did, this is going to work for you every time. Um, what's that? You're wondering what's in the other piles? Well, let's just, oh, take a look. Oh boy, okay. I have to recalculate the probability of the outcome that we have now just witnessed. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a one out of 5,000 775 chance that this would occur by chance. So now picture 5,775 slips of paper, all blank except for one of them that says you win. Now it's in a much larger container, thoroughly mixed. You go in and pull out one randomly and find that it says you win. <laughs> That's the same probability of accomplishing what we have just witnessed here today. That is unbelievable. Okay, so how does this work? Well, you just do everything that I did and it will work. <laughs> There's no sleight of hand. Uh, you have these uh, three sets of face cards. You mix them, you stack them randomly. You perform two random left-right shuffles with random stacking. You perform a Klondike shuffle, and then you perform a Klondike dealing of pairs to the table. And then you roll the die, either one of you. And so whatever the die roll is, it tells you which position. And then the second pair to be removed, you find by just flipping it. Okay, which is now a four if the first roll was a three. Um, remove those, discard those. Well, you'll find that they actually have the same card value. And then the other spectator rolls it again and maybe gets something different, a one and a six now. They will have the same card value, leaving you with a pair of cards of the same card value in the middle. Absolutely amazing. So the heart of this effect is based on a routine created by Warner Miller. And I will add a link in the description below to an ebook in which you can find this amazing card effect and many, many others. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.